it's Red Snapper, and welcome to the showgirl's closet. Yay! She wanted to be in the intro, and it's perfect because we are talking about the second project I did with the fabric that I got when I was in Hawaii. We did a family trip to Hawaii in September of 2023, and part of the plan was to get as much fabric as possible possible. We really wanted to get as much fabric as we could because the fabric's incredible. Uh, Hawaii Fabric Mart is inexpensive. So if you go to Hawaii and you are a sewist, keep room in your backpack or your suitcase or whatever so that you can bring home some fabric. I say sewist instead of sewer because sewer is spelled sewer and you're not making sh I mean, sometimes you might make shit, but you learn from that and then you learn to craft beautiful things like a sewist. Nutmeg is modeling her little dress. My goal when we were in Hawaii for wardrobe was to purchase outfits that would be matchy matchy for Mr. Snapper, me and Nutmeg because our other two dogs were not performers. So they were unlikely to be in situations where they would need matching outfits. They were very much homebodies, isn't that right? But Nutmeg is a little more social. We do social things with Nutmeg and now with Chowder. And when I purchased fabric, I wanted to make sure I had enough to make what I needed so Mr. Snapper would have a shirt I would have an outfit of some sort and Nutmeg would have a dress. Now, I talked about her dress in the last Hawaii Fabric episode, I believe, at the beginning. I make her these harness dresses that have, you know, a little, a little harness ring on the top so she can just wear them. And she wears them for her agility competition in Agility League. Cute little ruffles and we've got fun little snaps on the front. We'll see if you can see those snaps no you can't see the snaps they're little plastic snaps i think they're largely used on nursery items like baby diaper covers and onesies oh baby i think she wants to fall asleep in my arms but i have to put her down so i can show you things <laughs> okay i love you baby i know i know i know you want to be in the show isn't this Project Nutmeg? This is not Project Nutmeg. This is Project Girl. Oh, look, it's Project Chowder. You guys are on camera more for this than you have been for your own show. Okay, so this fabric, I loved the fabric, and I have a piece of it here. I got, I believe, seven or eight yards of this fabric, and I thought that's enough for me to make a dress, a dress for Nutmeg, which is about a yard, and a shirt for Mr. Snapper, which is about two and a half yards. These are estimates. So I thought I'm going to have enough. And I pulled out a pattern from my pattern library that I had never sewn before. And I discovered I need a little more ease and I need a little more bust space and a little more waist space because I believe I bought this pattern in say 2012. It's not 2012, I'm a bit more mature now and i made the top and i cut the skirt and i was like hmm i stitched these together and i don't think this is going to work i'll just put this on so that you can see it really helps to have patterns sewing patterns picked out before you purchase fabric that doesn't always happen but here's why it's a good idea this is supposed to be a wrap top and then the skirt you know is supposed to be beneath yeah this is this is just not workable. I've never made this pattern before. I know how to sew. I expected it to fit, but no. I cut out the pieces this year to make this. It's, it's been an unopened pattern sitting in my pattern library waiting for opportunity because when Joanne Fabrics has those sales for patterns, I would go crazy. Ooh, $3 patterns. I need to get everything that I could possibly think of making in the next 30 years. And that's what I did. And I wound up purchasing a larger pattern. No, I did that for something else. I ordered a bigger pattern for something else. This was not that thing. I realize now I just used a different pattern because I bought too many patterns from Joanne Fabrics when they had the crazy 
$2 for patterns or $3 for pattern sale. This one has this area that's gathered at the shoulder and the one that I wound up making isn't gathered at the shoulder. It's still a wrap dress, but it's not the same exact thing. This used fabric, the skirt that I cut used fabric. I was able to take the skirt pieces, cut them and use some of those skirt pieces for her dress and for the bodice of the new dress that I made. But I lost fabric here and I did not have enough to make a shirt for Mr. Snapper. I was unable to reorder this exact fabric from Hawaii Fabric Mart, something that I've done before. With the last outfit that I made, I ordered replacement fabric because I was trying to match the pattern and it wasn't working. And since the, the motif was so huge, I just had to buy more fabric. But in this case, I was going to buy more fabric and they didn't have it. So I had to make do with what I had. I had to cut pieces out of the skirt. This is just a lesson. <laughs> this right here is just a lesson. And probably if I made, I saved it because if I make a quilt of leftover fabric, I might want to have some of this. I love the, the fabric print. And it's nice to have memories of things. My dog quilt that's on my bed with appliqued past dogs is a wonderful way to honor the memory of them and the experience of them. And I had it while two of them were still around. I made it while two of them were still around. And it's nice to look at it, oh, I remember when we got this fabric. Oh, I remember when we did this thing. So they're like souvenirs. Let's take a closer look. Look at that beautiful hibiscus on that. And this is a little more purple than I usually go, but it's still blue. I thought it would add a little more color into my wardrobe so it's not just straight up sky blue, straight up aqua all the time. All right. Let's look at the dress. Here is the dress I wound up making and you, you see here, no gathers right there. It's flat, but it does have the bust darts. It's still a, a fun wrap dress and it has a little belt and I didn't press this. So bear with me because it's not pressed. It's just a little bit of, it's a little bit of thread that I need to clip after washing it since it's cotton. The bodice and sleeves are made from the skirt that I cut for the other version. It's cute. I ran Nutmeg through Agility League in the summer session in this dress because she was wearing dresses to cover up a wound on her back. And then we discovered, oh, she performs better when she's in a dress somehow. She feels like she's really on. And since we were matchy matchy, I wore my dress. This one's a, a bit busty, not as busty as the bodice that I scrapped was, but it's still a bit busty. But nice wrap dress pattern. I will say right here on this snap on the inside, I added a clump of fabric because this is a big snap and it needs something that it can firmly attach itself to. You do see this on the outside, but it gets covered with a belt. I wanted it to go through multiple layers of fabric so it was stronger, especially because, you know, the waist is a pressure point on garments. It's a wear and tear point. So if I eat, I don't know, a McDonald's sundae, a hot fudge sundae, and I expand a little bit, then I don't have to worry about it tearing the outer fabric, which would be a bit harder to replace or patch. This will help with some of that wear and tear. And then on the front edge, we have a skirt or pants hook. So that attaches nicely. The belt isn't actually wrapping 
and securing the dress. I don't want to call it a faux wrap dress either because it does actually wrap and attach. It's not something where it looks like it wraps, but it's a single piece like some garments. All right, so let's put this on. Ta-da! This is the dress. And remember, I ran Nutmeg through Agility League one night of the competition in this dress while she was in that dress and Mr. Snapper was not there to assist with the handling of Nutmeg because he was taking care of Coca, taking Coca on a walk. So I had to lift up my dog and run the course with my dog in a dress. How amazing are we, Nutmeg, that we can do it in dresses. We're a couple of real Ginger Rogers over here. All right, so here's the front, nice, lovely front. It's a pretty dress, it's a nice dress. It's a comfortable dress. I can't lift my arms incredibly high because of these sleeves, right? This is, <laughs> this is about it. So if I'm giving anybody a high five, it's like here. But nice, nice full skirt, nice little wrap. It would look better if I pressed it, but honestly, I'm bad about pressing things unless I'm making them that day since this folds over to give a nice soft edge so there's not a seam right here. So if I pressed this, then this would sit a lot nicer. It would be nice and crisp and clean. But here's the back. I do love this fabric. It's bright and lovely. I'm a, I'm a big fan. Oh, I can, I can do this bow better. Hold on, here we go. Tidy that up a little bit. There we go. And then the little belt sash. It's cute. It's a very cute dress. I know, I said be careful about buying a bunch of patterns when there's a pattern sale. It's good to have the patterns before you buy the fabric, but if you have a style that looks good on you and that you like, buy two patterns. Just two, restrict yourself to two patterns. Buy those two patterns, see how much fabric they take, get an extra yard just for safety and give it a shot. So something that you love. And if you go to Hawaii, you have to go to Hawaii Fabric Mart. They are not sponsoring this video. Joanne Fabrics is not sponsoring this video. I just want to help you maximize any trips that you make or any shopping adventures you go on. And if you're not going to Hawaii, you can order online from Hawaii Fabric Mart. Shipping is a little expensive, so be smart about it, but they have really, really great fabric. I love this. This is, I believe, straight up cotton, which is why it's so important to press things like this so that they look their best, unless you're just parading around in your closet and it's all fine. Thank you so much for joining today. Please be sure to like, subscribe, boop that bell for notifications. If you want to see more of Red Snapper doing Red Snapper stuff, I do some ridiculous naked stuff, I do some burlesque stuff, I tell stories, you can support me on Patreon, patreon.com slash snapperama. You can also help support the channel if you don't want to see any extra Snapper beyond this. You can select the $5 I'm just here for the dog level and you won't see a thing. You'll just be helping support all of our crazy pursuits. And I would love to hear from you. Have you shopped Hawaii Fabric Mart? Have you gotten something that you love there? Are there patterns that you recommend? Oh, fabric prints, I should say, that you recommend? Or are you a sucker for pattern sales at Joanne Fabrics or beyond is there a great sale that i should know about oh i need to replace the patterns that i'm getting rid of anyway what am i saying i'd love to hear from you in the comments and you will see me next time bye